Many employees at Twitter are heading for the exits this morning after an ultimatum. New Twitter CEO Elon Musk gave workers a Thursday deadline to commit to working in an extremely hardcore fashion. Extremely hardcore is his quote. Staffers started posting a salute emoji on the platform. It signaled they were opting to leave. Former employees are calling it a mass exodus of workers at the company. Alex Capriello is live for us this morning monitoring the latest developments. Alex, I think it's interesting. Folks go to Twitter for news about Twitter and wondering if Twitter still exists. And then they post on Twitter worrying that Twitter will cease to exist. This is all yeah, very certainly is. Please straighten it out for us. I know it's been certainly a turbulent time on that social media platform. I think uh, the main takeaway for me is that we could very well be seeing the demise of the platform altogether. Take, for example, the number one trending topic on Twitter overnight. It was hashtag RIP Twitter. So at this point, it's unclear just how many of these uh, employees of Twitter actually made that mass exodus when Elon Musk gave them that ultimatum, either work those hardcore hours, in his own words, as he pointed out, or receive that three months of severance pay. But one thing that we do know is that a lot of people took to the platform last night to say their goodbyes. Uh, former employees using the hashtag love where you worked. We pointed out a few of them for you. Let's take a look. Number one, deciding to join Twitter seven and a half years ago was one of the easiest decisions ever made, writes Jesse DeBolt. Right. Deciding to leave today was 100% the opposite. I will miss the people, the fun, the love, warmth, and kindness within and surrounding this company. Thank you, Tweeps. Here's another one. After five incredible years at Twitter today, I'm resigning. What a ride, says Twitter user Bianca. Twitter was my dream job, and I'm so fortunate to have lived it. Until next time. Meanwhile, Elon Musk took some not-so-subtle jabs at Twitter and even poked fun at his own potential business failings, writing... How do you make a small fortune in social media start out with a large one? It's clear his miscalculations and handling of his $44 billion acquisition certainly are not going exactly as he most likely hoped for. Now, for the employees that did remain, uh, Elon Musk is sort of softening his stance uh, when it comes to working from home versus working in the office. Mitch, as you remember, uh, he mandated pretty much that everyone return to the office if you're going to stay with Twitter. He's sort of backpedaled on that a little bit, saying, as long as your managers um, confirm that you are doing what he called making an excellent contribution and that you're appearing at least once a month for in-person meetings, then it's okay you work from home. So clearly with the mass exodus, mass exodus he is uh, sort of having a little bit of leniency with the ones that do still want to stay and keep this uh, company afloat. Yeah, Alex, I'm just not sure why folks would stay. It's either you get three months of severance and you can go find your next job, or you can stay somewhere where the boss has already said you're going to work some hardcore hours. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot of people tweeting that Twitter might shut down at any moment. I guess if nobody works there, it's kind of tough to maintain the site, but would it really shut down? Is that real? Yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty typical Twitter behavior. A lot of people always just sort of uh, what they call trolls, you know, they're just kind of making fun, saying, oh, my gosh, is this thing going to survive? So they're saying their farewells to their hundreds of followers. Uh, but, I mean, all indications point that Twitter's not going anywhere. This is all just jokes. Um, you know, for example, we still have this plan to release Twitter Blue on November 21st. That's the new revamp of uh, the subscription service that Twitter had. So, yes, certainly, while thousands of employees are no longer a part of the payroll there at Twitter, uh, all indications point that Twitter is still moving forward and that all these hashtags, RIP Twitter, are just jokes. That's all right. That's Alex Capriello. It's going to be an interesting weekend at Twitter. We'll see what Monday brings. Alex, thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.